Hello, folks, and welcome back. You are about to learn some joyous things in this lesson, I tell you. I'm not a massive Incubus fan. I'm becoming one because the more I listen to them, the better they get. I hadn't even heard of this tune until, God, about a few weeks ago. How did that happen? It's absolutely immense. Now, in terms of tones, uh, it's standard tuning, but in terms of tones, I'm going P90s and I'm going for a light amount of gain. And I'm getting that from the Greer Amps Royal Velvet, which is a Vox style drive. But that for me sounds tonally nice. And that works too. And you want a little bit of reverb as well. I'm actually using the reverb side of this Univerb pedal from J Rocket Audio, which is just lovely. So, you know, but you know, any reverb will get you there and a bit of light gain. That's kind of all you need for this. And then we have this. So the first riff goes, this is the intro and the verse, right? <laughs> That's the first four bars. You might be thinking, that looks simple. But when you start playing it, um, you'll realize you're skipping over a couple of strings with your plectrum, right? And uh, live, at least, it's actually played sort of in a hybrid picking pattern with... <laughs> There's that bit in there as well, right? So you have... That is a lot easier than playing it with the pick. With the pick, I find that you get... Um, you get that same um, kind of attack throughout, right? But it is easier if you do picking and fingerers, okay? So entirely up to you which you go for. But live, I definitely see some, some finger picking action there. So you might find that a bit easier to do. So in terms of um, what your left hand's doing, 16th fret, I would do um, my third and fourth fingers there on the E and B string. Nothing on the uh, G and on the D. 14th fret, okay. And you're gonna play this slowly. Pretty straightforward. And you repeat that bar twice. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, with the finger picking style, you would play, you would use your third and fourth fingers. Is that my third and fourth? Yes, it is. And you would just use the pick for those three notes that you play on the 14th fret, okay? Like that, if you want to do it that way. The next um, chord shape is this. Second fret on the uh, 16th fret, so you're moving from the 14th to the 16th in terms of the root, and then you just tuck in your first and third fingers on the 14th fret and the 16th fret on the B and the E. Then you move your first finger down one uh, string and play that, all right? So it's really simple on the face of it, but to try and play that accurately and cleanly, you're going to be need to, you're basically going to need to be able to play You need to be able to do those changes quite quickly, okay? So the first four bars would be. All right. Next time around is identical apart from the fourth bar, and that is. And that little bit there may cause you a little bit of trouble. But if you've nailed this, and I would encourage you to do that if you're struggling with the picking, just play that and you can play along with the, the track as well, right? And get good at it. That will teach you the chord shape changes that you need. For 
the second time round, you then play... Your little finger needs to be able to get to the uh, 18th fret there. So you'll play... Again. And then quickly... Play that a load of times just to get, you know, the old muscle memory in. Now, next up is the chorus part. This is awesome. Okay, so it goes like this. Three, four. fluffed up at quite a few bits in that but it's tricky so don't worry we're going to go for this bit first right let's take it um two bars at a time right so we'll do each phrase it is <laughs> Awesome. So nice, especially with the singing. Man, watch this live as well. God, the singing is absolutely superb. Uh, but uh, this really underpins it beautifully. So we have. So. That's pretty straightforward. 13th fret, 11th fret, you can do that. Then I put my, um, you know, second finger on the 13th fret on the next string down. And then you have and that'll become a bit of a theme right so once you get that first bar you've got like half of this whole chorus riff down so get that slide nice down to the other fret now your third finger is going to tuck in behind right So that's the second bar now we're on. And slide up to the 18th fret. Pretty cool, isn't it? So you've got um, the 18th fret and the 16th fret twice. Then your third finger comes in like that. Three on the 16th fret, right? That whole phrase again. Three, four. That is it, right? Second phrase goes. Like that, okay? So we have same um, first bar almost. Rather than going, you play at the end, right? It's subtly different. Slide your two fingers down. You're playing basically just the uh, an 11th fret double stop. Then you slide it down to the 8th fret. And then... Six to four. Pretty straightforward, okay? Then we have that's exactly the same as the first measure, right? So we go. That's the subtle difference, and then we have. That's a little bit tricky. Let's do that slowly. <laughs> so you've got to get in a, a little palm mute. So you're going. 
So I'm doing a down. So with the upstroke, I'm palm muting that. Okay, one more time. So nice. Last time goes. That's awesome. Again. So the first bit's very similar. So you need that little slide up again. And then we go, I use my little finger here. Uh, 12th and 14th fret on the top strings. Down, down, up, down, change. Then, abandon that, that little finger. Second finger then on the uh, 12th fret. So we've got... So good, isn't it? Then, people, um, you go around that whole lot again. So um, you have all that sort of stuff back into the chorus. Now, the um, second and third times, you hang on this. So you play this once the second time, and you repeat it three times the, the last time. So. And then you go around again. Um, oh, whatever I just played. Anyway, the uh, the very last time you dealt three times, and then you end with, which is just a portion of what you already know. And man, if you learn to play that, you'll be happier. You just will be. Trust me. Enjoy. See you soon.